What's up everybody, Dread back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about some mini dev updates that were released by Ready or Not or Void Interactive just the other day. We're just going to go ahead and hop into it here. So pretty much what all these mini devs are all about are pretty much have to do with physics, jiggle physics, cloth physics, inanimate object physics. You get the point. So we're going to go ahead and hop into the first one that they actually dropped here, which is called, and this one was dropped by Ali, saying what Grunter has been up to or what he's working on lately. I don't think I've actually seen him talk in a a while but let's we'll see what's going on with this one the name of this video is called cloth curtains let's go ahead and play this for you provide cover moving up It's of SWAT officers walking through curtains, and those curtains actually look fairly good. Not perfect, as you could definitely see like the heads kind of like clipping through the curtains, but it's getting there. The next one that we got here is Cloth Curtains 2. Let's go ahead and play that. This time around, he's actually holding a 1911 that's gold. Is that at the game? I don't remember. And yeah, like the curtain definitely looks good, but it's still clipping a little bit. Like he kind of gets up close to it on the right here and you can see the arms going through. Guys backing in and out of the curtains. It's definitely pretty cool, but you can definitely tell that it needs a lot of work for sure. And that seems to be it for this one. Let's go on to the next one here. The next video that we got here is called Barrel Cloth Physics. Let's take a look at that bad boy. So the first thing that I want to say about this is that obviously this is still a work in progress. This is a video of three barrels. The SWAT officer goes up to the barrels and pushes them and they fall through the curtains. Simple as that. Hopefully they actually make it so that when you actually hit the barrel, it doesn't go through your gun in your hand. Again, clipping issues. But the way that the barrel actually goes through the curtain actually looks fairly good. Although it is still clipping through just a tad. But that's pretty neat. Not perfect, but it's getting there. Can't wait to see that. Kind of makes me wonder when they're actually going to add in these physics to the game. I assume they're not coming this this month but who knows let's move on to the next one here with ali saying pillow fights in ron this better be an easter egg alley or i'm gonna set the shit out of you the name of this video is called pillows i can only imagine what this is gonna be about let's take a look Unfortunately, I can't play the audio of this video because it might be copyrighted. So this is a video of a third person view of the SWAT officer looking at the pillows and you can definitely see him walking through the pillows. This is some pretty cool looking physics, but man, that third person view, yeah, it looks pretty cool actually. Hmm, imagine you going through a ready or not mission in third person. That would be interesting. But yeah, the pillows are pretty nice. This better be a freaking thing where I could pick one up and slap the shit out of people. Please, Mr. Developer Man. Nah, you don't have to if you don't want to. I don't, I don't really care. But I definitely make like a funny haha -ha video about something like that. Here's this achievement. Pick up this pillow and hit every freaking hostage you see. I mean, they already have it so that we can freaking throw hostages, so why not? But anyways, and that seems to be it for what Grunter has been doing, supposedly. At least according to Ali. But moving on to some new videos that were posted fairly recently. The name of this first video is called Penthouse Curtains. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So obviously this isn't like a very interesting video, it's just a very simplistic video. The curtain's kind of just blowing in the wind here because the window was open or uh, shot open? Question mark? Not too sure, but it's definitely showing off the physics of the wind blowing on the curtains here, which is pretty cool. I think one thing that I would really like to see is if you shot out a window, which I don't think that's actually possible with every window, but then you'd actually see the curtains start moving. That would be pretty cool, seeing those dynamic windows the moment that you shoot them. Wind would start to blow in, because if I'm not mistaken, if you're inside of one of those uh, skyscrapers, it's pretty windy up there, right? I guess it depends on where you live, but yeah. Uh, one thing that I noticed is that there's actually buildings in the background. W are those in the game currently? I don't, I don't know. I take a look, but I don't know. I don't know if I have enough time to do that. If I do, then I should have it right here. Moving on to the next video, we've got a shower scene. Ooh, let's take a look at this video.
Okay, so this is a very tiny video of a SWAT officer obviously walking into the shower to wash himself off. And not gonna lie, the rain, the water does not look that good, but I mean, when you're getting wet, that actually looks pretty decent. Like, I've seen better looking waterfalls in other games before, but you know, good thing this game doesn't rely on waterfalls a lot because it just doesn't look that good. But at least it somewhat interacts with your character. And you can actually hear the water dropping on you. That's a nice little detail. I'm gonna put this into the nice detail category rather than this looks good category. But that seems to be it for the videos that came out pretty much the other day as i was recording this video grunter actually dropped a picture of brand new character models or at least one new character model of one of the people that's supposed to show up in the meth house he also says sick of looking at placeholder meth characters me too finished meth roster dropping next big update as well cool you get to see some new character models for meth cannot wait to see it okay so there are a couple of things that i do want to point out in these last two videos here this this is actually a more fleshed out penthouse than the one that we currently have because I believe in this bathroom there's no actual faucet here and it's like coming from the wall at least currently in the game but in this little snippet here you actually see a faucet and two little knobs for you to play with. No idea if they're actually interactable or not but they're probably not. It definitely makes sense that water's coming out of a shower head rather than the wall unless the penthouse is having some issues we don't know about. But anyways talking about the second clip here one thing that I noticed about it is that they replaced the blinds that were there with curtains just to show off these effects i assume and definitely added a little more details because you can see like a bunch of like ammo boxes that are kind of right here on the ground and show casings also there seems to be more buildings than there is in the previous version at least in the bottom part whereas the buildings in the older one are kind of like more out there in the background which i don't know if we can really see those there's actually shelving that was moved from this side of the room over to this side which i'm assuming is just for like cover for somebody that wants to be in uh this side of the room and another thing that i could notice is that you can actually hear the tv that's in the background the tv currently works but it's kind of like not as good sounding as the one that's in this little clip and as the developer actually turns around you can see that the tv looks like it has a video on the screen so pretty cool there's probably more differences that i didn't notice but yeah that's pretty much all i really got to say about these videos one last thing before i go though a couple of developers ended up responding to some people and the person that posted about this was uh kelly recluse on uh, reddit which Man, this guy's always on it when it comes to like anything related to Ready or Not news and stuff like that on uh, Reddit. Usually I almost always see him like posting ridiculously fast, but uh, he posted about developers answering some questions. Somebody had asked the question, prop and environment interactivity looks great. Though I gotta ask, how reliable is the cloth and concealment? I'm a bit worried about getting wall hacked through the cloth from an enemy AI. That's definitely happened before. And Gruncher responded with blocks viz, which I'm assuming means blocks vision. So the AI won't be able to see you if you're on the other side of those curtains unless you make a noise and then he just blind fires maybe then somebody else said did the devs ever say anything in regards to being able to use flashlights and laser at the same time controlling them individually still hoping for this the current light or laser is nonsense and grunter responded with actually yeah so are we going to have a feature that uh allows us to have both flashlight and laser because that would be cool i just hope that they fix the cone of the flashlight already it's too damn small but that's pretty much all that grunter had to say about that let's move on to the next comment here. This one was actually posted by Zach. Somebody had said, man, where's the directional audio? And Zach said, heh. <laughs> Posted a picture of this. Everybody lost their goddamn minds. Oculus? Ready or not, it's going to VR? Uh, don't know. No, 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 no. They've been saying this for a very long time that unfortunately they would need to completely redo the game if they wanted it to go VR. And even Zach said it in this post right here, no, this does not mean VR. This is a plugin to make directional audio better. Oh my god. The directional audio in Ready or Not is just okay. I could definitely hear somebody if they're coming around the corner. If they're on the same level as me and kind of close to me, I could kind to hear them but if they're on a floor that's above me i can't tell if they're literally above me or down below i feel like that's such a common issue in a lot of these tactical games i'm glad to see that zach is already on it hopefully he could get that fixed quick because that's just an annoying thing oh, i hate that shit in freaking tarka but that's pretty much all i got for you guys these videos weren't exactly the most sexiest content but uh i tried to spice it up a little bit for you let me give you a little extra but what are your guys' thoughts are you excited for physics it'll definitely be interesting to see what it looks like in game but that's all i pretty much have for you guys so uh i'm gonna end the video here if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like greater or not then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or hop on that join button underneath the video if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on ready or not or any other game that i decide to cover and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye